Natalie, welcome back to my channel. So this What I Eat In A Day video will be based around potatoes. So potatoes, there are very many varieties and the potato, the humble potato, which is so full of nutrition, it's unreal. You can apparently survive on potatoes alone, as long as you get a little bit of vitamin C every now and again, you can survive on potatoes, who'd have thought it? So there are people out there that eat nothing but potatoes. There is like a potato cleanse. There is a potato diet. I don't think I want to do that, but lots of people do it. So these meals are all going to include potatoes, breakfast, lunch and dinner. And this is going to be the start of a new little playlist on my channel that is focused in on maximum weight loss foods. Still starch solution, still using that 50-50 plate method. I don't always visually have the 50-50 as in I have my starches and non-starches separately um, because I quite like the one, one pot meal or the, uh, the curries and the stews and soups and things like that. I love eating that way. So quite often my starches and non-starches are mixed together but in essence, it is still 50 and 50. Breakfast, lunch and dinner, all the meals based around potatoes because of how low calorie the Mr. Potato is. Low calorie and delicious. Don't be scared of potatoes, they are your friends. Let's get into the video. So for breakfast today, I'm gonna to make a simple little pan fry. So I've got some potatoes already steamed. I'm gonna use a red onion, well, half a red onion, a whole clove of garlic, some pepper, mushroom and courgette. So first thing to do obviously is just to chop up those vegetables. Okay, you now just wanna add your onions and garlic to a warm pan. Add a splash of water to get those started and you're just gonna saute those for, I don't know, maybe five-ish minutes just to get them going. And then you can add in all of your chopped vegetables. Any veggies will do, just make sure you've got some potatoes in there too. And I use the coconut aminos again because I just love it. It's kind of sweet and savory and it just really makes vegetables have a lovely, delicious flavor. So I put a lid over this just to kind of saute steam them. If you don't have a lid, I just find it dries out a lot, lot quicker, but that's okay. You just need to add more water if that's the case, if you don't have a lid for a big pan. Then you just wanna serve this up and it's as simple as that. Yummy, umami, flavorful, and veggies for breakfast does work. Okay, for lunch, roasted potatoes with a citrus salad. So using those same steamed potatoes that I had for breakfast as well, I'd made a really big batch. So once they're nice and steamed, they've got lots of moisture and they've still got that high water content, really good for calorie density. Sprinkle on some smoked paprika, and I chose to add some cumin as well this afternoon. Into the oven at about 180, 200. They'll take about 30-ish minutes just to crisp up. They're obviously already cooked, so it just gives them a nice crispiness. So now you can make your salad. Any salad greens you've got, nice big portion, and try red cabbage in salad. It's very, very good because it's really dense and satisfying. It takes a long time to eat it, and it just really fills you up too. So some red cabbage, and then I had some pepper, tomatoes, and onions as well. So chop up all of your veggies and add those into your salad. And on the side of this salad, I'm gonna have some citrus fruit really great for vitamin C and just lovely and fresh and light. So I chopped up half an orange. So once your potatoes are ready, you can just serve this up. I made a little dressing as well. So I used some maple syrup and some Dijon mustard, two ingredients and really lovely dressing. 
nice and easy to make. You don't need any equipment and you can just mix those together in a bowl and drizzle it over your salad. Combine it through a nice dressing as well. Time to serve up. So simply just add your salad, your potatoes and your orange slices. Super easy and you could make this in advance and take this to work and just have your potatoes cold. It works really nicely. Okay, for dinner, I am gonna make a sweet potato and rice soup. So the ingredients for this soup will be celery, courgette, spring onion, red onion, a whole head of broccoli, a whole head of cauliflower. We've got some sweet potatoes, carrots, mushrooms, lentils. And at the end, we're gonna stir through some cooked rice and a big handful or two of spinach as well. So we've got lots of veggies going on here, lots of non-starchy veggies that are gonna really help with calorie dilution. And to give all of the seasonings and flavors, we've got onion powder, garlic powder, Italian herbs, bell pepper flakes, and a veggie stock. I'm obviously using bouillon here. So those will go in as well. So the first thing to do is obviously is to chop up all of these veggies. I'm gonna use a really big pan because I'm making a huge batch of this soup because I wanna keep some in the fridge and also in my freezer. Obviously you can just do a lot less than these quantities if you wanted to. So you simply add everything into your pan, add a tin of chopped tomatoes, and I had these roasted red peppers so I threw them in as well. Two big tablespoons or more if you like of some Italian herbs, tablespoon of garlic powder and onion powder, and a tablespoon of stock, bouillon, whatever you have going. And now you just wanna fill up your pan with water till it's about an inch below the vegetables. Don't worry if you can't really mix it at this stage, which I can't because I'm making so much. It doesn't matter because once this starts cooking, it will be really easy to mix. So you can just leave this now on a low heat for an hour, an hour and a half, and let everything cook. Taste it, give it a test, see if you need to add some more seasoning. Do you want to put salt in there, pepper, anything that goes? And then I added in some greens right at the last minute. So I love to serve this with a load of rice. Put the rice, which is, I normally have that pre-steamed in my fridge, and then I add the soup on the top. This is so low calorie, it's brilliant. You can have a massive bowl, come back for seconds, have this as snacks, have this before a meal, whatever you want to do. Stay tuned next week, there will be another What I Eat in a Day video that is all based around the maximum weight loss. 50-50 plate starch solution method. Let me know in the comments below, is this something that interests you? Do you want to see more of those low calorie density meals and how they can really help us to not only lose a bit of weight, but stay satisfied and full. Make sure we're getting all that nutrition that we need. Let me know down below. I would love to hear from you and I will see you guys next week. Bye.